to be faster than efficient. So I'm Benoit. Uh, I am here to talk to you about uh, Edgex uh, using Hospital. Hospital is a Python library um, to, to run Edgex uh, for any project in Python. And uh, I will focus uh, at the end of the presentation about integration with Jekyll. And uh, Edgex, uh, the most obvious uh, situation is uh, when you have an application, a project, and you want to deploy it. And uh, you have whatever the, the way you deploy. Uh, have you ever wondered, okay, I just deployed my project. Is it running? Is it okay? Is it working? Um, the answer is pretty simple. If you consider your application as a system or as no dependencies, it's just a simple application. But you know, in uh, the real life, you have a uh, or something like this. The application depends on uh, uh, support databases, caches, uh, storage, uh, email, or even uh, permissions, or whatever. You have dependencies uh, that um, vary uh, from your development environment and production. So you'd like to check it out. Um, so you just deploy your project, and what? Uh, one solution is just to wait, and uh, uh, often you, you, you crash. So you get a bug report. Um, you can also uh, perform some manual checks if you know uh, what to check once you deploy your application. But uh, for my opinion, it's just like waiting for bug reports because you never know all the things to check and uh, because we are lazy, we are developers, uh, we never check it all. So, you want, of course, to have automatic checks that make sure your application is working. Um, in fact, you already have some tools to, to check applications. Um, we have, of course, tests, uh, unit test, functional test, integration test, they are really good and they are necessary, but uh, when you run tests, you, you are working with uh, particularly fake data, mocks, stubs, and uh, things that uh, are not in production. Um, so tests are good, but not enough. Uh, you are also provisioning. What's good in provisioning is uh, uh, states. It means you uh, tell um, what are the expectations for your system? You run the provisioning and you make sure uh, your system is in, in a low state. Um, it's good because uh, you can assert that your uh, service is running, but it could be running, but uh, not so well configured. Uh, you can make sure your configuration has been gener generated, but uh, doesn't, you don't make sure that your configuration is good. Uh, you could have made a typo or something like that. We also have logging because uh, uh, if you have a, a connection error between you and the database, you will have a trace back for errors, but it's too late. So you, you will have to, to have some checks before errors occur. And, uh, of course, you, you, we have monitoring. Um, we, have, we have many monitoring tools that can uh, periodically check your application response to to HTTP request, as an example. But it's an external point of view, and uh, think something is missing, and uh, this is why uh, edge checks are for. Um, Let's check basically are assertions of running, of running application. It means you have to validate some expectations. Um, you do it for configuration, uh, environment <coughs> data. It means uh, you do it for things that are specific to your running instance. Um, things that are the same on dev and Production, 
are covered by text or something else. But what is specific to uh, the deployment to an instance is uh, can be covered by text. Uh, from inside the application, this is very important because uh, when you go as an developer to the doctor, he asks you uh, what's wrong, uh, why you come, where are you coming, and you tell him uh, my finger hurts or something, and that the, the information comes from the inside. You tell him what's wrong or what's your status, and uh, it's really quick and uh, it doesn't have to scan you and uh, guess what's wrong because it's really hard. And uh, because uh, the information comes from the inside the application, who can uh, write the, the instance? It's the developers because developers know the application requirements. You know the application requirements while you are writing the code. Uh, when you uh, try to use an HTTP API, you know you need a connection to this HTTP API. And uh, so people who will deploy your application may not be aware of that. So it's uh, your responsibility to write the test checks. And of course, it's part of the supervision toolkit monitoring because uh, well, it's so good. And uh, <coughs> you get instant benefits with the chat. Of course, to validate the deployment, you just deploy an application and you want to check that it's running and working. Uh, of course, you can use it for monitoring to, to check that your application is still alive. And you can also use it to diagnose issues. Uh, it means when you have an error, you can say, oh, what happened? Uh, is the application okay or is it on the internet or uh, on the database and so on. So, uh, hospital is a Python library, it's in the development, but uh, it's working. Uh, where you write and check like, like tests, because we are developers, we all know how to write tests, so uh, it's a simple way to, to write assertions. So here in this example, uh, we have the only specific thing to make a test become an L check is a decorator. And uh, then, uh, so it's, uh, I think it's very simple to read and to learn. Uh, when, once you have written your L checks, you can run them, collect and run them using hospital key which is uh, when, uh, built in the hospital, but you can also use nose or PyTest to collect, like just like test, so you get uh, a true or false uh, fail or pass uh, output. Uh, another way to run uh, edge checks are to run is to run as a web service, so you you can use hospital server or uh, the built-in. Uh, with the application, with uh, another server, and uh, then uh, you can um, emit HTTP requests to the, the HTTP server and get a uh, 200 response if uh, HTTP pass or uh, 500 uh, if uh, HTTP fail. So it's very simple. Um, as I told before, uh, hospital is working, uh, uh, writing and collecting L6 is uh, actually working, but uh, it's in the development. Uh, features I'd like to see in uh, hospital are small tests and diagnosis. Uh, basically, small tests are the uh, if you, if you, an example. If you want to check uh, the data database connection is okay, just try to connect the database. If it pass, uh, this is a small test. No, uh, there is no reason to, to do more checks. If the connection to the database fails, you may uh, want to try to ping the host of the database or to, to get some more feedback to, to deal with it. 
uh, for Django, uh, just a little more about uh, Django system check framework, which is uh, being introduced in uh, uh, the next version. Uh, it's not text checks, it's uh, more uh, static checks, so not, not really the, the same purpose. Um, there, there are three little bit rebrands uh, currently uh, on uh, PyDia. Uh, the, the three are not uh, very active. And uh, I used to, to try Django.com, that was the first one. I, I uh, discovered, and uh, we, uh, also with the authors, we are we, we met by, by email, and uh, we have agreed to, to converge, and uh, I, uh, uh, I put uh, what was Python generated to Django in the uh, hospital, and then the next step, I think, is to uh, improve Django Doctor to make it use hospital and then cover Django built-ins such, such as uh, databases or install labs or static uh, static URL <coughs> and so on. So uh, as a summary, you can already use hospital to check your applications. Uh, basically everything you, you use to check manually you can use hospital to to check it. Um, and of course you can improve the toolkit. Uh, it's a platform. And uh, that's it. You can see the documentation and uh, use it. Thanks. Thank you, Benoit. Uh, we have time for a short question. And uh, if somebody from Whitetail come come up to the stand, we have time for a short question. Anyone? Thank you. 